So how does one do division problems? Hi, I'm Jimmy. I've been doing teaching college math for nine years and I want to give you some basics as to the foundations of division. And the first thing that you definitely need to have grasp an understanding of is that of long division. And once you see the pattern, everything is going to be pretty straightforward and you're going to be able to do more advanced division problems from there. So here's an example for you. Suppose you want to divide 3741 by 6. So what you want to do is just ask yourself, does the number on the outside divide into the first number on the inside? In other words, does 6 divide into 3? Well, not by a whole number. So if that's not the case, then you go on to the next number and see if 6 will go into the two numbers that, that's inside. So does 6 divide number into 37 as close as possible? Well, if you know your multiplication tables, the answer should be pretty straightforward. 6 goes into 37 six times. And notice, because this 37 is the first number that we're doing the division with, that's the first number of where the answer is going to be on top of. 6 is going to be on top of the 7. After that, you take the 6 and you start multiplying. 6 times 6, you already know, is 36. So after you multiply, you're going to go ahead and subtract. 37 minus 36, you know is 1. Now, after you do the subtraction, you bring down the next number. So in this case, you're going to bring down the 4. And then the pattern repeats. 6 times what is going to be close to 14? Well, 6 goes into 14 two times. Now, just like you did with the 6, continue on with the 2. Multiply. 2 times 6 is going to give you 12. And then you do the subtraction again. 14 minus 12 is going to be 2. And then last but not least, you bring down the final number, the 1. And so now you have to ask yourself, 6 goes into 21 how many times? Well, again, if you're solid with your multiplication, you know that to be 3. So 3 times 6 is going to give you 18. Do the subtraction there, and you will end up with the number 3. Now, since 6 does not go into 3, and there's no more numbers to bring down, this 3 down here is going to be your remainder. So 3,741 divided by 6 is going to be 623, remainder 3. But the pattern here is multiply, subtract, and bring down, and repeat when necessary. So I'm Jimmy, and this has been giving you a foundation as to how to solve division problems.